So there are a lot of theories on how should one play tremolo, but it's actually not that complicated. It shouldn't be. So if we think about it, we really need to work from the result backwards to the technique, not the other way around. I think that's the right path to take. If we want the melody to sound even, absolutely even, and singing in nature, because that's what we are imitating, the a bold instrument like violin or cello or uh, singers to sing. So the melody is produced by those three fingers. There are four fingers involved in this activity, right? So P, A, M, I, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four notes in a group. Now only three fingers are producing the melody line. One, two, the thumb is for the bass, bass line, right? So one, and then two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So what we really need is for those three fingers to sound even, not four. Those three fingers even them out. So ya da 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 even then we fit the thumb in. So ba da da 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 see fit the thumb in. That's the right logic. So that the melody will always stay even because it is ya da 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 then the thumb play the bass ba da da ba da da ba ba da da ba da da somewhere somewhere in the middle ba da da ba da da that's how it's even the more identical those three fingers sound like the more even it sounds to other people. First of all, dynamic. We want it to be identical. So, listen first. It's not even. What I hear is there's one note too loud. Listen. The second one is too loud, and I know, I feel it as the middle finger. Then, if we know which finger is the problem one, then it's easy. We just dial it down for that finger to have a lighter touch. And we try again. But most of the case, we simply have no idea which finger is the problem one. Now what we do is we record ourselves on the phone and then we look at the sound wave. The one that has a peak the crazy one is the problem one. So we trace back to see which finger produced that sound wave, and then we dial that finger down, you know, have a lighter touch to it. And then we try again, and then record it again, and to see the sound wave until it looks pretty similar, then problem solved. And now let's listen to the color. So if the color is not even, it might be because the nails. So just use the sandpaper. Always solve the problem. All about the nails, right? So what we want is smooth all the way. Inside, outside, everywhere to be smooth. Then we're good to go. Okay? This is what I use. I've never changed it. 2000 grade. It's been perfect. You can use a different one, but as long as it's smooth, then we're good to go. Classical guitar community, there's always a huge fight about the shape of the nail. Now, I'd say it only becomes important when you're the top 1% of the classical guitarists performing on the stage. Even then, the musicality and everything else will overcome the importance of the shape of the nail. So, I'd say as long as we don't shape it crazy like a triangle or a jigsaw, then congratulations, we're good to go. Let's move on. So one easy way to make sure all colors are even is to use just one finger and then plug one open string. For example, this E string. Now it's middle finger, any finger is fine. And what we want is for the other two fingers to imitate the sound. 
Listen, just one finger. Now three. sound pretty similar but if I would record it with a phone which you should do the same record it on the phone and listen to it half of the speed you will hear the difference now the game is to find the difference and adjust it accordingly for example if the index finger is too thin you listen to it as too thin compared to the other two then you change the angle and make it thicker and then compare again, record again. Well, you cannot hear the difference even on the recording. Then now we're talking, you see? Because when you play on a guitar, human ears cannot tell the difference. And it's like when you practice with the highest standard, the bottom line will follow. See, that's the logic.